We have to stop looking up at the lights in the sky for answers because we are not one of those lights. The earth is special and so are you. We are at the centre of all things and the only life is here. Outer space is one big lie. Yeah, you can look up at the night sky and see the stars and wandering stars, but it's not what we are told it is. You can't travel there and there is no such thing as deep space. NASA admits repeatedly that we can't go into deep space because we no longer have the 60s technology that we used to get to the moon. Right now, we only can fly in Earth orbit. That's the farthest that we can go. The kinds of technologies that we're testing out on space station are definitely helping us with our goals of going beyond low Earth orbit. Early in the next decade, a set of crewed flights will test and prove the systems required for exploration beyond low Earth orbit. And this is really the beginning, I think, of human beings leaving low Earth orbit. I'd go to the moon in a nanosecond. Uh, the problem is we don't have the technology to do that anymore. We used to, but we uh, destroyed that technology and uh, it's a painful process to build it back again. I haven't uh, uh, seen anything that indicates the telemetry data is even in existence. And as I said, even if we had it, we don't have the machines to play it back. Unfortunately, I'm afraid I can't really give you much of a clue as to, as to where this data ended up and whether it, it still exists or not. See, can't go past low Earth orbit. That equals can't get past the barrier, also known as the dome or the firmament. If you look up how many people have been to space, here's what you get. Of the 536, three people completed only a suborbital flight. 533 people reached Earth orbit. 24 traveled beyond low Earth orbit and 12 walked on the moon. So it seems the Apollo mission was the only one to ever get to deep space. You would think that by now we'd have several bases on the moon and would have already been to Mars a few times, but no. And let me just say that we were discussing how the moon is local, so naturally you're probably wondering why we can't go. Well the thing is is that none of this stuff is what we are told it is. There are documented cases of being able to see stars through the moon. So this begs the question, is the moon even a physical object? It was also documented in the Royal Society of Philosophical Transactions from 1974. It says, An account of an appearance of light like a star seen lately in the dark part of the moon. You can download and read the whole PDF from the Royal Society website. I've told you guys time and time again, space is not a real place. The sun, the moon, the wandering stars are not what you have been told they are. You just don't want to believe it.